How's it going guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, it's your boy, British Chat, aka Dan, uh, and we're back with Loki, and I hate to say it, the season finale of Loki, so there's, I mean, this was a very short season, which sucks, like, you really want to see more, you want to see all this chemistry growing, what they've done in six episodes is absolutely crazy, the fact that they've drawn this many viewers in, and attached us to this many characters, and so well as well, like in six episodes, uh, but all stories come to an end guys, and this is the end of Loki, the final episode of Loki on my channel. I'm going to be surprised if you are new to my finale of Loki on this channel, but if you are guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for new content coming every single week. Also, while you're at it guys, don't forget to smash that like button and follow my Instagram, British Chapter 2 Peace, the link in the description below, uh, definitely worth a follow, all updates go on to that Instagram, uh, including about this channel, about me, about life, etc, so definitely worth a follow. Now... I've heard nothing about this episode, I am a day late watching it, I'm so glad I've avoided all the spoilers, it's fantastic, I mean like, how have I managed to do that, but I've avoided every single spoiler guys, this is going to be one quick banging reaction for the season finale guys, and I have no idea if it sets up at season 2, I'm hoping it does so we get to see these characters again, but... From the best of my knowledge, guys, at this point in time, this is the final video I will be doing for Loki on this channel. Now, if you haven't seen the last reaction, I highly recommend you go and watch that one before this one. I'll leave the link somewhere up there. It was absolutely crazy. Probably, it, well, it was my favourite episode of the season. I think a lot of people agree with me on that. Like, it was just such a comedic, action-packed, uh, emotional, heartfelt episode, guys. It had everything in it. Everything you would, you'd think that you'd want in an episode or, or a movie or a series was in that episode, it was absolutely crazy. So yeah, like I said, go and watch before this one, but as ever guys, for everyone that's already seen that, I'm just doing a quick little summary. Now, <laughs> there's not a lot to talk about, so the, the whole episode focuses on this sort of end void planet where the TVA zaps people to, uh, if they've done something wrong, it's called like pruning, right? They like zap them to this void place because they can't affect anything. This void is, it's like beyond the end of time, which means that they can't physically affect time itself, and they can't develop as a person, de develop as a story, nothing. So they're stuck on this planet, and uh, eventually consumed by this massive beast thing they've got there. I forgot what it's called, uh, but there is a big beast guarding sort of uh, the, the realm, and eating things that are sent there. So yeah, like I said, the whole episode was sort of focused at this place. Uh, Loki was the original originally, then Sylvie came. Loki actually meets a wide selection of of himself, might I say, including Croaky, who I say is one of the best inventions of any TV series I've ever seen. Croaky the Crocodile, uh, Loki's variant. Now, that's just hilarious. We see lots of different Lokis, guys. We see lots of different things and plot lines. The biggest thing I do want to just talk about quickly is what happens right at the end of the reaction. They have this theory that what whoever's controlling the TVA, whoever's made the TVA, whoever's controlling everything that's happened to them is beyond this void, is, is what's next, like what's behind the smoke screen uh, and being guarded by this massive beast. Now, Sylvie creates this plan where she's going to enchant this beast so that she can see beyond and potentially go beyond. They do end up creating a portal at the end, they finish this beast, uh, and then they end up going to whatever's next, and I can't tell you what it is, I have no theories, I'm not the biggest comic reader, I know a lot of people have theories about who it actually is and what villain it is, uh, all I know is that there's a potential that this villain could be set up as the big villain of the MCU in the future, I would be surprised if they showed, sort of introduced this villain and then killed them off like immediately, that would be kind of crazy, you know, like why would they do that, like that's like... Not the best of writing, especially being as they'd be introduced in the shortest episode of the season and for the least amount of time of any sort of villain in the MCU, which for me wouldn't make any sense. So presumably, whoever does get introduced will play an integral part in future movies, etc. in the MCU now that they're starting to connect these TV shows and everything to the actual uh, cinematic universe. But yeah, that's where it ended. And I've waited a whole week to find out what is beyond this void. I have not enjoyed waiting, guys. I'm sure you guys haven't either. Uh, for a lot of you, you've probably already seen the episode, obviously. I don't. I can't imagine many of you be watching this if you haven't seen the episode. But I guess despite all speculation, all summary, or everything, all of our theories are about to be proven right or wrong, guys. Right here, right now, in the season finale of Loki. Uh, I've been talking for way too freaking long. Uh, as ever, before I get started, thank you all so much for taking along on my Loki journey on this channel, guys. It has been a mini-series, but a lot of really, really good fan bases has sort of developed from this from this series and one of the best actually like you have varying fan bases from different series you watch and this is one of the best one of the friendliest and happiest and kindest uh, and best to uh, create discussion with afterwards etc and I've, I've really enjoyed it and I'm gonna miss it I will miss it uh, so I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that has contributed whoever has subscribed everyone that's watched the videos everyone that's liked etc uh, you guys have all been fantastic but yeah without further ado guys let's get straight into the reaction the season finale Marvel music Wait, what? Ma, 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 ma. Wait, this is the Captain America. Wait. Why are they playing dialogue from the Avengers? Faster, 
What? So that we just weird sort of universe to pick them. So this is like some weird time. Oh, so that's the ring that's surrounding that. Is this the place that that guy was? Where we, we you sort of saw the vision that Sylvie was seeing. Yeah. Dude, time's literally just surrounding him. Holy shoot. I was thinking, dude, why are we hearing this Captain America music? Okay, shut up. I was pruned before you even existed. I have been waiting for this moment my entire life. I just need a second to get my head straight. Okay. <laughs> sure. I love it how she puts Loki in his place, eh? I love it. Oh, and he listens to her as well. If they know how to, like, see... If they can see time... Then they know. Or they'll at least have an idea. They may not know up to here because they sort of said that they can't really see time beyond a certain point. But, like, up to this point... Everything before, he'll see. He would have seen. You again. Why is this weird? Welcome to the Citadel. At AI the end and of time. What? Come on. Why is this so sketchy? Who's impressed? He who remains. Who? And who is he? He created all, and he controls all. He who remains. Dude, this weird orange tic tac thing wants scares to me. Offer you oh, a deal. Tic tac refresher. He's been making <laughs> a few creative adjustments. And oh! He's worked it out so we can reinsert both of y'all back into the timeline in a way that won't disrupt things. Oh my God! Okay, so this guy, whoever's orchestrating all of this, is offering them a deal. He said he will put them back in a in, the, in a time stream that's not going to disrupt things enough, so that the TVA continues, so that he can continue. Dude, if that doesn't sound like someone that's scared of what would happen if he didn't have that deal accepted. Then I don't know what does. Like they are his biggest threat now, and again, he's gonna do well. He's gonna do whatever he can to eliminate that. But we know Sylvie's not gonna take that. I'm not sure about Loki. I presume Loki's just gonna do what Sylvie says. To win, but not just there. For goodness sakes! You can kill Thanos. So they're offering him. You want the oh. Infinity Gauntlet? Yours. They're offering him ruling. That's what. The, for goodness sakes. No problem. How would you like to wake up tomorrow with? Just a lifetime of happy memories. There's no way Sylvie's gonna take it. it no, Sylvie's not gonna take this. All of it. And even if it is, this is a trap, 100%. Exactly the way you've always wanted. And you can have it all together. You can have it all by destroying whoever's controlling this. Period. We write our own destiny now. Oh, oh. Sure you do. Good luck with that. Oh shoot. That's pretty much a well. Rejected. Here comes the big guy. Dude. Are we gonna get like a Thanos style that. What? Hey, yo, I'm not gonna say I'm underwhelmed because, like, I kind of expected, like, this massive sort of Thanos style villain. I don't know why I was thinking that. Like, maybe it was just in the back of my head. I don't know who this guy is. I don't think I should know who this guy is. If he's in the comics, then I, I mean, I'm not a comic reader, so I'm going to find out eventually, obviously. But this guy's the guy at the end of everything. He won't be a Loki. No, he won't be a Loki because Loki. I can't imagine. I mean, Loki's wanted to rule everything. This is, like, the perfect scenario for him, but. I don't know. I don't. I, for some reason, I don't think it would be. Don't tell me I'm a disappointment. No. Just a little bit easier to kill. Oh, Sylvie just went for it, man. Like, that's crazy. No discussion, no nothing. Just whoosh, off with his head. I said I wasn't to be disturbed. Well, you're not going to be happy to see me. Oh, come on, Mobius. So you're going to prune me? I like that idea. But, you know, my standards might be a little bit higher in that area than yours. You know, with close personal friends. I'm sorry, Mobius. Why would I that's, couldn't let you get in the yeah, way of our mission. mission? Nah. Timekeepers are fake. We're all variants. What mission? It can't have been for nothing. That's why it, it, I no, have to prune you. It's for evil. Hundred D ninety to my Oh, uh, she just doesn't yeah, realize so, it. Oh, that's not gonna work out the way you think it is. Stand down, B fifteen. You need to listen to me. What the hell is going on here? Children. What? Oh. Who are you? What the hell are you doing? She brought a variant. That isn't Judge Rensley. Come on. Dude, that's smart. That is so smart. You've lost. We found you. He doesn't look like he was hiding. That's the thing. He wasn't hiding, though, so... Ah. He wanted this. He's orchestrated everything. You can't kill me. 
because I already know what's going to happen. I said so. All of this was preordained. All, all planned. Planned. Selby! <sighs> you think you can trust this guy? Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. She's going to try... Are they going to try and turn them on each other or something? I had this weird theory that Selby was going to betray truth Loki. Now. You betrayed me. No, no, you betrayed me. I looked out for Well, they betrayed each other. Hung my neck out for you. And She's going to end up dying. She'll die. Turn to those variants? What are you doing? What I need to do. Wait, stop. Oh. Maybe we can build this into something better. But that, remember, they didn't show her to the... I'm sorry. They showed... The, the weird orange thing showed her another... Go. Another way. You're of no danger to me. Is that what you think? What? <laughs> oh. Don't prone him again. For goodness sakes. Don't kill Mobius either. Is there good in her heart? So there's some good. There's, it's not all evil. I just don't understand her character. In search of free will. Wait, what? Wait, what? I, I don't know. I can, I'm confused by that. Without the me. Without the TVA. Everything burns. Is this legitimate or is... I want to know if that's legit. And what are you so afraid of? Whether they actually need them. For a while, there was peace. Narcissistic, self-congratulatory peace. I love your shoes, I love your hair. Oh, oh so he's talking about variants first seeing each other. They, they shared technology and knowledge. Using the best of their universes to improve the others. But why? However... So these are all about parallel universes helping each other. Not every version of me was so friendly. Of heart. So he's was well, he a conqueror? Is that what he is? Each variant fighting to preserve their. Because why is he the last one? Why is he the last one? That first variant encountered a creature capable of consuming time and space. Oh, and, and that's the creature right there. I weaponized. Elias. And I ended, I ended Why? the multiversal war. All I have to do is manage the flow of time and prevent any further branches. Hence, the TVA. Guys, I need to pause it because I'm just sitting there right now just like, what is going on? Okay, let's just somewhat talk about what we've just seen. So, Loki and Sylvie have come to this guy, this version or this variant of... Oh, he's like the timekeeper, he's like the big... Guy, the, the, the end of everything that controls everything, stops the world splintering, uh, stops different branches appearing, stops a multiverse war. That's what he's trying to stop, a war from the multiverse, because apparently it's happened before, uh, and for some reason he just is the one to control it. I don't know why. Um, I don't know how accurate the story is. He then goes on to talk about how he created the TVA to prevent that, to prevent further stuff from happening, and that's why it's all going on, like, because of that reason, but why? Like, why? And why him as well? And why him? And also, what's this got to do with Lokis? And like, why be so secretive about it and be so hidden? It doesn't make any sense. Like, this is not gonna end. This will end in an evil way, surely. Surely there's gonna be an evil character in this. Like, he's not, there's just something not right about this guy. Like, he's telling the story, maybe the story's true, but the reason or his motives, I don't think he's being completely honest about. Yeah, because imagine they introduce this villain now as like, to start doing something evil. Because so far he hasn't done anything evil, right? Say he does something now, there's literally 15 minutes to show him as a villain if they were to kill him off. So, part of me feels like this is gonna continue on to movies or another series. I doubt another series, but movies. If you think I'm evil, this way. You meet my variants. I I kind of felt I, I kind of okay, let me let me just say something, right? Let me say something right now. I kind of felt that maybe this guy, as much as he's like the thing at the end of the world, I, I kind of felt like maybe he's some sort of messenger boy or like he's almost like Do you remember with uh in Guns of the Galaxy how you had Ronin and you think, oh shoot, this is like Ronin, this big evil bad guy. But then at the end you sort of throughout you sort of realise, oh wait, Ronin's a pawn. Part of me feels like this is going to happen. Okay, I'm going to keep watching because I've already just paused it, but... Dude, I mean, just the music itself and just that one scene. Wait till you meet my variants. That doesn't sound good. So you just... continue to... prune innocent timelines. Mm-mm. 
dangerous timeline. You two would. What? There's two options. One. He's trying to hire them? You kill me and destroy all this, and you don't just have one devil, you have an infinite amount. Oh or shoot. You two. Do the pruning. Run the thing. Oh my god. You're lying. So he's trying to almost You're recruit lying. them to run everything that he's been running this whole time. Multiversal war, or they run at all. And re return to the TVA as its benevolent rulers. Oh, Tell the shoot! They are and why they do what they do. You treated real people's lives like some kind of game. Bro, it's Sylvie's not, not happy at all. It's, it's practical. It was personal to, to me. me. Oh. Bro, oh, Sylvie's gonna be the one that snaps. Sylvie will be the one that snaps. We just crossed. The threshold. Threshold? Oh shoot, is this like the end or something? Oh, free will! Free will! I fibbed earlier when I said I know how everything is going to go. I, I knew. Oh shoot! Up to a certain point, and that point was about seven, eight, nine, ten seconds ago. Why does he seem so scared? Look at no, it splinter. I have no, idea. no idea how the rest of this is going to go. Oh my god. If you guys weren't like so freaking confused in this episode, I am very impressed. Very impressed. What the f what's going on? So, one minute he's saying that he knows everything that's going to happen, it's all set, they can either have these two options, they can rule the TVA, or they can kill him and create madness. And then all of a sudden, he's just gone, oh shoot, I don't, I, I have free will. Boom, I have free will. So who's done that? Is it that lady that was like, saying to TVA, going to search for free will? But how would she have done that from there, or wherever she is? Take over, and my life's work continues, or... What? One your blade in my chest, and an infinite amount of the... Go everywhere. Start another multiversal war, and I just end up right back here anyways. What? This is the most confusing episode I think I've seen. Oh, shoot! Hang on a moment. Whoa! Oh, shoot, now they're fighting. I believe him. You believe what? That a bazillion boogeymen are going to turn up? Just oh, my God. Him. He's a liar, Loki. So am I. And I don't think he was lying. Not about that. Loki's a professional yes. liar. Maybe. You want the throne. No. That's not it, no. I don't believe you. So with these oh. everything we know to be true. Everything. Loki seems more genuine than I've ever seen him. TVA has hurt us both. But what if by taking him out, we risk unleashing something even worse? That's the thing, oh, what if? It's all about what if. if. A minute. I promise you from my heart, this isn't about a throne. What was I thinking trusting you? Whoa! Has this whole thing been a con? Really? Do so you see, look how Loki's... That's look. Think of me. Just look at him! And she now doesn't believe... All this time. Oh my... Sure, why not? Evil Loki's master plan comes together. He's crying you about it! Me, did you? Why aren't we seeing this Oh my way? God! Because you can't trust. She can't trust and he can't be trusted. I can't be trusted. What did I just say? <laughs> I love it when I do that. Wait. Oh shoot! Not how I wanted this to go! For goodness sake! Not how I wanted this to go. Maybe he's lying. Maybe he's not. The cost of getting this wrong is too great. Fine. No. Kill me. Why is she being like this? I thought she was reasonable. One of them is going to end up killing each other. Stop. Stop. Just don't. Stop. Stop. Just kiss the girl. <laughs> Goodness sakes. Stop. I don't want to hurt you. And she shouldn't want to hurt him. He wants her. For the first... I just... That's crazy, eh? Especially as himself. For goodness sakes. I just want you to be okay. And look, he's crying as well. But the thing is, every single time, is, is Loki deceiving? Oh, wow! <laughs>
not gonna lie, that makes me happy. But they're both the same person though, so... <laughs> no, don't, Sylvie! You would! Oh, wow! And she's gonna shut it. Now, what does she do? What does Sylvie do? Oh, I didn't want them to be separated, Are you kidding me? Look at her! And you have single-handedly just opened something you're never going to be able to close. What has she done? Talk about setting up future movies. Bloody hell. I mean, that was her always her purpose, was to take down the TVA and destroy who was behind it. But what has she just done? They were warned. They were warned. Look at it. Multiverse of Madness. Is this setting up Doctor Strange? I'm pretty sure that's going to have something to do with it. Ooh. Just look at it. No turning back now. It's complicated, okay? But someone is coming. Countless different versions of a very different Ooh. person. And they're all set on war. We need the new Thanos. You Your watch. Names, right? What division what? are you from? What are you talking about? Who are you? What's your name? Wait, what? It's on the ground now, archives. Who are you? Oh my god. Oh shoot. And oh wow. Just wow. They've reset the timeline and this person here is the new threat. Oh shoot. Not a happy ending. Post credit scene. Is there post credit scene? No post credit scene? Marvel? No post credit scene? Really? Surely. Oh, here we go. Come on. Post credit scene. Loki will return in season two. There is going to be a second season. This isn't the final episode. Come on. Oh, shoot. So this isn't the last time I'll see you after all. There's going to be a season 2 of Loki and I think from what I've just reading it's like not planned to be like airing till like 2023 which is absolutely crazy that's quite a while away. Um, so I mean I'm, I'm sure I'll still be making YouTube videos by that point and it'll be what a year and a half away. That's a long time but hey we're going to be back eventually with Loki uh, so this isn't going to be the last time I see you. It's not going to be the last time I speak to you uh, so that's fantastic. I really enjoyed this series. It was absolutely phenomenal. There's nothing to speculate on now. Well, there's, there's obviously a few things with season two but uh, the biggest cliffhanger obviously is that they've just freed the timeline. They've changed everything. This guy that's just done this I bet you that he knew this was going to happen all along. That's why I was so happy. That's why I was so happy to let it happen because he knows that a variant of himself would then go on to rule and I wouldn't be surprised if this well this new variant this big guy that's the head of the TVA surely he's like some big MCU Marvel villain he will be 100% uh, but that's Sylvie's fault Sylvie did that Sylvie betrayed Loki uh, she changed her mind last minute she basically murdered this guy that was was guarding the time streams and everything and he warned her he said to her you do this and it won't be good and she did it anyway Loki even warned her as well uh, but obviously this journey was too personal for her to ignore. So yes, that leaves Sylvie goodness knows where in this random castle looking over time and presumably that means she's going to be stuck there for a while, I imagine. Uh, I'm, I'm just glad she's not dead, thank goodness. Uh, and it leaves Loki back at the TVA uh, where he started. Now, the weirdest thing is, is no one knows who he is. No one knows who Loki is. The timeline's been like completely reset or changed. Everything's changed, which means Loki's gone back to a place that isn't the same that he started at. So Mobius doesn't remember him, which absolutely sucks. No one there remembers him. So what else has changed along that time stream? That's my question. And obviously the big ending is that there's that massive statue of that guy that's now ruling the TVA, who is the actual timekeeper that we've been wondering who's going to be all along. It's that guy, the guy that we saw. At first underwhelming and now not so much. He is going to be the ruler of the timekeeper and he will probably be a central villain of the next season. And he even said himself, there's many more evil variants of himself out there that are willing to do some damage. Now, what this means for Loki, I have no idea. Because, well, obviously now it seems pretty certain to me that there's no way he's going to go back to his, his actual time stream. Unless they sort of say at the end of the next season, maybe, that like, oh, hey, 
Everything needs to go back to normal. Everything needs to be put back in its place the way it should be. That includes Loki going back to his death. I I've got a feeling that could happen. But as of right now, no, that's not going to happen. And Loki just continues, presumably to stop this guy. I don't think Loki's going to differ from this journey. I think Loki's just fallen in love. And he's just met someone that he doesn't hasn't felt for like that. Ever. Like, this is new to him, this is a new feeling, and he pretty much lost it as soon as he got it. So, he will be looking for that. I think he will be looking to go and save Sylvie from wherever she's stuck, uh, and then obviously deposing this guy who is, goodness knows how dangerous as a different variant of himself he, he did allude to the fact that they are very dangerous and much more sort of conquer hungry in terms of theories as to why like no one remembers loki i presume it's just something to do with the messed up timelines like and the fact that loki was never actually supposed to be there does that make sense like loki loki belongs back at with Thanos, like, he belongs back in that time stream, so presumably when you sort of disrupt everything, it sort of, like, just dis disrupts the flow of everything and, like, the way things work, and, like, as you can see, he's, like, inserted himself as, like, a leader, so, uh, it's weird because Mobius's line at the, end, at the end of that sort of episode was almost talking about, oh, this sort of splintered into 16 factions, how are we going to sort it out? So it's almost like he's still there and he still knows that they need to be figuring out what's going on, but it's almost as if he's reverted back to his, like, TVA ways that he just needs to control this timeline. He's no longer interested in, like, deposing it or finishing it. He's back to square one. Which is weird because Loki's, like, the only one that isn't, and that's probably because he was, like, inside the, the eye of the storm, as I'd call it, the ring of time, uh, as it was happening. That's probably what it was. So as things reset, he wasn't exposed to the reset, so that's probably why he remembers it all. And now it's just a matter of convincing people that it's actually happening. But yeah, that's pretty much my sort of summary and speculation of, of, of next season. I, I don't really have a lot else to say. If you enjoyed the video, guys, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for new content coming every single week. Also, as ever, don't forget to follow my Instagram, British Chapter 2 ps the link is in the description below. Now, guys, I'm, I'm more than excited to get some discussion going in the comments. What do you think of what this means for Season 2 and all these plot lines that are left open? For a start, I didn't think there was going to be a Season 2. I said at the, at the start of this, like, thank you all so much, you've been amazing, goodbye, uh, which obviously wasn't the case, you sort of, sort of, season two announcement, which is fantastic, but what do you guys think, what next, for Sylvie, for Loki, for the time streams, for this new guy, what next for all of it, let me know down below, guys, but yeah, as I said, guys, thank you so much for tagging along on my season one episodes and reactions of Loki, guys, it's been absolutely fantastic, it's been amazing, like I said at the start of the episode, uh, you guys have just been, just the, one of the best fan bases, I think, of all the reaction series that I've done, so it's been fantastic, I've really enjoyed doing this, and I cannot wait for season two, I think most Mostly, more than a lot of series, I am more hyped than I probably am for watching other things. Even some of the Marvel movies, right? Like, I'm just hyped to see season 2 of this. So, it's a shame it's going to be a while, but hopefully it's soon enough to the point where I'm not going to, like, forget everything that happens. But yeah, guys, that's all from me. As ever, this has been your boy, British Chat. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.